gonna be honest with this one. It's kind of the worst Michael Bay film ever made, but also kind of the best. I'll explain coming up. What's going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today we're discussing Netflix's new Michael Bay movie that's exclusive to them, Six Underground. It stars the likes of Ryan Reynolds, a new kind of action hero, and six untraceable agents, totally off the grid. They're buried their past so they can now change the future of humanity that the governments can't decide to do. Six Underground has actually been a pretty big movie for Netflix. It's actually their most expensive film to date that they have created. It's like around $150 million. Netflix gave it to Michael Bay, told him to go make his movie. And, you know, Michael Bay, I'm a hit or miss with him. There are many films of his that I think are very entertaining. There are films of his that I don't like. Well, just the Transformers movies, in a sense, a couple of them I like. But overall, I'm pretty disappointed by all of those. The thing about Michael Bay is he definitely has his style. And while I said in my intro that this is kind of the worst Michael Bay movie, but also kind of the best, I, I mean that. I'm pretty conflicted on this movie because this is very much a Michael Bay movie. I mean that in kind of the best and worst ways. If you like Michael Bay movies, you're going to love this movie. If you don't, you're probably going to walk out hating this movie. For me, though, there's some films that I like of his and there's some films that I don't. Six Underground, though, falls in that middle category for me because, again, I liked a lot of this movie. And I also despised a lot of it as well. Of course, before we get any further into this review, guys, if you guys are new here, make sure to comment down below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Six Underground. Are you guys excited for this one? Are you not? Do you have a Netflix account? Are you going to be streaming it this weekend? Let's talk about it down below, guys. And of course, again, hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on any early movie reviews like this. Like I said, even though I felt that way about Michael Bay, I was still looking forward to this movie because of Ryan Reynolds. I love him to death. And really, when it comes to any of his movies, I know I'm going to have a blast watching him banter off the screen with the characters and have good good chemistry while at the same time delivering his lines because yeah it, it's Ryan Reynolds the, the biggest thing I have though with him is that he is pretty much playing Deadpool or just himself and himself is Deadpool I love Deadpool it's one of my favorite comic book films of all time I rewatch it constantly but the thing is when you watch a movie you want him to be someone else Hitman's bodyguard he's pretty much playing Deadpool cameo earlier this year in a movie he's pretty much playing Deadpool now within six underground He's pretty much playing Deadpool. I don't have any problems with that. It just takes me out. I'm like, oh, oh he's he's acting like Deadpool right now. Just with a couple different tweaks. It's like an, a Deadpool alternate universe type situation in that part. Feeling that way also adds that Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, the writers of Deadpool, also wrote this movie. And that's actually what I'll get to in Six Underground. I actually didn't have a problem with the writing of this movie. I thought all the lines were great and all the humor. Like, I've had some films that Michael Bay directs. I have major issues with the humor. I thought the humor in this was actually perfect. And I don't think I would point to Michael Bay it working because of him. I think it works because of the cast and the script. And I actually think that's one of the strongest aspects of the film. Like I said, even though Ryan Reynolds acting like Deadpool, he's great in the movie. And that goes to everyone in this cast alone. One of my personal favorites in here, Manuel Garcia Rufo, who plays three in here, is really entertaining. The whole group in here is entertaining. Hearing their banter and chemistry with one another is one of the strongest parts about this. And again, the script elevates it. They take this script and elevate it with the performances they are given and really transforming into these characters. And though, again, I mentioned that Ryan Reynolds is pretty much just playing a different version of Deadpool in this. It's fine because it still works for the most part in this. And all that comedy that bounces off one another still fits for the style of this movie. And it doesn't make you feel like you're locked out or taken out of any point of this movie. You are locked in. There's actually quite a lot of big gut-busting laughs in here, which again goes to the script between Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. I mentioned this is a Michael Bay film. It's Michael Bay. This movie feels like a parody of everything that's ever said. Like he takes options. He's like, oh, you think I have too many explosions in my movie? Guess what? More explosions. Oh, you think I'm an, I have too small of car chases? Guess what? The first act is pretty much just going to be a 25-minute car chase with lots of blood and explosions. Actually, mine, like, it was kind of, like, bad, but also not great. It, it was entertaining for the most part, and I will say that. Like, I was entertained in this movie, but I was also frustrated because of the many action sequences that have the quick cuts, which, again, goes back to Michael Bay. Where someone's like, hey, I can't see your action. Can you can you maybe widen the lens? Not have too many quick cuts? And he goes, more quick cuts. Let's make it like this. Come on, let's go. Ends up feeling like a YouTube video of someone who keeps messing up in their video and have to keep cutting it. 
cutting it and cutting it and cutting it. I'm used to that though, because that's how Michael Bay makes his movies. It's his signature style. And that's what comes down to Six Underground. It's an enjoyable movie. You get the car chases, you get the shootouts, you get the great banter between the cast. You also have the fantastic humor in here as well. You get the R-rated blood and guts. You get this, you get that. The movie feels like a 12 year old kid took all of his action figures, dumped them out and had a bunch of fun and creating his own story and his own imagination, which is what Michael Bay did in this movie. I Joe Badger with three powerful firing missiles. Fire! I'll give you guys my final thoughts on Six Underground. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'm really curious to hear what you guys thought about this one. And make sure, again, to hit that like and subscribe if you guys are new here. Because next week, we got an early movie review coming up for a movie that is far, far away. Check that out. It's coming up soon, guys. And, of course, make sure to go over to Sam Sean Films on how to see films early like Six Underground, Long Shot from earlier this year, Book Smart, and many others coming into the 2020 year. Of course, a big thank you to you and a big thank you to my Patreon supporters because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. Six Underground's a Michael Bay film. You can take that for what it is. You either love him, like him, or you're kind of mixed like I am, which is kind of where I walked out of Six Underground going, I'm mixed because I found the chemistry between everyone in here fantastic i found a lot of the comedy in here to actually work but it does superly feel like a michael bay from just from the opening line from the opening scene to the opening action scene to all the way through to every single one of those it's a film that just keeps going it feels like it's gonna end here oh no we got another action scene coming up wait you thought that was the last car chase nope we got more coming up want parkour added in here we're gonna have some parkour now just kept ramping it and ramping it and adding it every single action cliche that you could possibly have fast editing styles fast cuts tons of cuts in one particular car just turning over many butt shots and many sex scenes that aren't needed many scenes that keep going on forever a story that's kind of convoluted for no reason whatsoever and just completely edited and shot completely weirdly but in a michael bay manner like that this is a michael bay movie like, it's like everything that he's done in Transformers, Pain and Gain, that you see, and people ask, like, say, oh, can you maybe lessen up on that? And he just decided to throw more. And it's kind of what you get from a Michael Bay movie. Like, you know what you're getting going into this. And you know if you're going to like it or not. I, I was entertained. Doesn't mean it's a fantastic movie. I'm curious to see what he does next. Um, It's unique. And I think the cool part about this is it is going to be on Netflix, so many people are going to be able to stream it first day and not have to leave their home. I got to see it in the theaters. If you get a chance, I would recommend it. The The theater experience is, for me, always better. And it, it I was entertained. Like, that, that's the biggest thing that I can say, but I don't know why. Like, there's so many things that frustrated me at the same time, but things that I enjoyed. Ah. <sighs> It's a Michael Bay movie. Things that frustrate me, but at the same time make me entertained. I don't know how to feel about this one, guys. So with all that said, I'm going to give... Michael Bay's Six Underground and M because it's a Michael Bay movie. That is for what you will. You guys might think that's a cop out, but seriously, like what grade do I give this movie? It's it's an M. It's a Michael Bay movie. You might like it. You might hate it. You might be in the middle like me. I'm in the middle. I enjoyed parts of it. I was frustrated by many parts of it, but it's a Bay movie. I guess I'll just go watch one of his other older films that are way better. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video again. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Look out for tons of content coming in the couple of weeks because it is the end of the year. I love doing my end of the year's list. Far, far away. Galaxy is coming up. A review for that is coming up very, very soon. And of course, guys, until next time, stay classy.